Hey guys, I just got back from doing a quick hunt and look what I found at the store. This was this really surprised me. Elite 33 Cesaro. He was the only one on the shelf. Uh, I was super surprised though because I wasn't expecting this to hit retail so soon. I thought it would be a month or at least a couple weeks after ringside, but I guess not. But uh, I'm really excited and now I can keep my one from ringside. Mint on card. So here's the deal guys. I am going to unbox him. Cesaro, here's the back. I find it funny how it says uh, the ring attire is from Raw 2014. I didn't, I didn't know that he wore this all of 2014. Career highlights: WWE United States Champion. That's the highlight, not the uh, WrestleMania moment where he got the Andre the Giant belt. Former affiliations: the Real Americans. I wish it said Ring of Honor. Chikara signature move: the Neutralizer. I wish it said the Cesaro swing. And I'm glad they're still using his little flag thing, that's cool. I really like the new box design, so I'm just going to... Oh, that doesn't really seem taped. That's weird. So I'm going to try and open it up. That was really easy. Way easier than I thought. And here he is. Elite 33 Cesaro. Finally opening Elite 33. So let's wait. This is a basic. This is that basic series with Daniel Bryan and Fandango. I already have this figure. And you guys have been pranked by Tommy. I didn't find this in the store. I just switched it out. I wanted to feel like a repacker. And here is the actual figure. This is the one I got from Ringside. How did you guys rank that prank? Let me know in the comments. And also, let me know in the comments what you guys do when you find a repackaged figure at the stores. I've always wondered that. Usually what I do is I bring it to customer service, but then I always find it again on the shelf a week or two later, which is really disappointing considering that it's return fraud. But uh, let me know what you guys do. So, this is going to be a comparison review. I love doing comparison reviews and I really like Cesaro. He's a good wrestler, a solid wrestler, and it's unfortunate that right now it seems like he's being buried because he had some choice words about John Cena. But first let's look at the accessory because that's what I am super excited about. The Andre the Giant Memorial. Here it is. Let me just zoom in. Is the trophy. Looks pretty good. I can tell it's the trophy. It's unfortunate that the trophy was destroyed. I don't think it actually was. I bet he has one sitting at his home. And uh, I hope they continue doing it, the Battle Royal. And then it breaks apart, which is fun, so you can recreate the action when it broke. Who broke it? Was that Jack Swagger before he turned face? Man. WWE past history is kind of funny when you think about it. It's so confusing. My only disappointment... No, I'm not disappointed. I thought the Andre on the top would be loose, but this is solidly crafted. Great job, Mattel. I'm going to give you mad props right here. Mad props! And now let's get to the figure itself, which I'm going to have to take off some points because they're using the old Cesaro face sculpt scan situation. And I honestly think that the best Cesaro face is this one where he's kind of goofy with the goofy smirk and I wish they went with that for this figure considering on the box that is the image but whatever guys we didn't get it we got this face which I think looks like random dude less Cesaro more random dude it's all right. He looks like a teacher, like a French teacher or something you might have someday. Bonjour, ma chérie. I don't know French. A paint mark. Yay! And looking at his attire, they did a really good piece. They did a really good job with his one piece tight. Uh, comparing it to the basic, I'm really glad that they made some differences between them because I was a little worried after I picked this up and realizing that the Elite would be basically the same thing. They aren't. They're quite different. I love how they keep having his chest hair and they still have his older hairstyle, which I never expected them to update. He just recently changed it. And I love how the shoes and boots are different. 
On the basic, you get the white, but on the elite, he has like socks or something, and it says Cesaro. Now, I am could be totally wrong, but does he wear knee pads now? I kind of forget. He didn't for the longest time, but he added them. And I like how the Elite is more muscular in the legs than the basic. It's pretty great, huh? For some reason, though, his chest is kind of glossy. Hopefully you can see it. Light just bounces right off of it. And he has a nice C for Cesaro on his Speedo. And the basic says AC for Alberto Cesaro. Antonio Cesaro. He took that name off. I'm, I'm whatever about it. And he can't really hold it, but you can probably fake him holding it. Yeah, he can hold it. Woo! He won it. He won the belt, guys. Cesaro! Cesaro! So a lot of people were asking for me to unbox and review X-Pac. I'll do that tomorrow. And if you enjoyed this review, want to check out some of my elite 32 guys, like Rey Mysterio, or the man himself, Mark Henry. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about this figure, or any WWE figures, or really anything, ask me in the comments. You guys rock. Have the best day, and weekend, and year.